Hi ladies, it's Melissa. I'm here with another IVF update. Um, I'll try to make this a quick video. It's just to show you guys the medications and talk about my protocol. Um, today is Tuesday, October 23rd, and we'll be beginning our injections tonight. I'll be starting with Lupron, and I will be on that for approximately a week. Once I get my period, I will call the office with cycle day one, and a few days after that is when I'll start the Gonal F, which is the stims. It's the one that I'll be using. Um, and then I'll do that for a few days. They'll start with the scanning, um, the ultrasound scan and blood work to check the follicles, check my estrogen levels. And from there, we'll just, you know, keep stimming and keep checking until we're at the right point. And then I will do my Ovidrel shot to trigger. And 36 hours later, we will have our um, egg retrieval and they'll fertilize whatever good eggs we got and then we'll hope for the best. Um, my doctor is going to try for a five-day transfer this time. I've never done that before. I've done IVF twice before and we were successful both times. I got pregnant both times so here's hoping that it goes smoothly again and I get pregnant again because I'll just be totally bummed to go through all of this and it doesn't work. Um, so here's what they sent me. Um, just a few of the basic things. They sent a whole bunch of alcohol swabs. Um, I got my Sharps container for all of the used needles. Okay, so these are the little syringes that I'll be using to inject the Lupron. They're really, they're really small. I don't know, let me see. If those numbers mean anything to you, half cc, 28 g's, I mean 28 gauge by half inch, yeah, half inch needle, 28 gauge, it's tiny. Um, so that will be used to inject the Lupron, which, let me just make sure my name's not on this, yes, which comes in this little glass vial. Um, I don't know if you can even see the, yeah, you can probably see the level in there. It's the tiniest amount, um, but it goes a long way because the dose is really small. I'll be doing 10 units till I get my period, then it drops down to five units. Okay, so, um, I'm sure most of you have probably seen this before, but I just think this is the coolest thing in the world. This is the Gonal F pen. So, this is what it looks like and you dial up the dose. I know this is probably all backwards, I'm sorry, but you can kind of get the idea. You dial up the dose, you pull out the plunger, and then you just push it down to inject whatever dose. You don't have to like draw stuff out of a vial. Um, and then all of these are the needles. So like you screw on one of these needles and use it, then you throw away that needle, and then the next day you use a new one. Let me see if I can just show you. Um, so this is the pen, and this dial turns. I'm not going to turn it right now because I'm not ready to use it. But So that's what the pen looks like. And right here is where you screw on the needle. It's really, really cool, and I'm really glad that I'm able to use that instead of... Um, I know there's some other medications where women get like... Um, powdered stuff and they have to mix it and I'm just glad I don't, <laughs> don't want to deal with that. Um, and then this is my trigger shot. Again, simple. It's all the medications already in there. So once it's time, I just pull this out and shoot up and we're good to go. <laughs> then, this is the only thing that's changed since my last two cycles. This, um, once you do the IVF uh, procedure, once you get the I think once you get the egg retrieval done is when you start the progesterone. Anyway, um, this is the progesterone that I will be on. It's called Crinone. And the last two times I had IVF, I was on a medication called Endometrin, which comes in a little tablet form. It's about, I don't know, that big. And it comes with a plastic applicator, so you have to unwrap the tablet, unwrap the applicator, you have to kind of balance the tablet in the top of the applicator, and insert it and I had to do that four times a day well this time this is so cool they come like already wrapped up like a tampon and the gel is already in here and I won't have to do it once a day 
So I'm pretty excited about that. And it's the same thing. It's progesterone does the same thing. So um, that's all. That's all I have for medications. And like I said, I'm doing my first shot tonight. Maybe I'll do a little video of the Lupron injection. It's so fast and simple. And um, yeah, so that's all. Um, we're super excited. We're really optimistic. Um, I would appreciate everybody's prayers that the cycle goes smoothly and that we get a BFP. Um, we're only putting one embryo back. We, um, the first time we did IVF, we put two, and I did get pregnant, but I lost the baby for an due to an incompetent cervix. And since then, um, my high-risk OB has recommended not putting two back in. So even though I know the chances are better with two, I still feel safer doing one. So we're just going to do one. Um, but that's what we did last time and it worked. So hopefully we get a really good embryo and everything's perfect and it sticks. Um, so until next time, I hope you're all doing well and I'll talk to you later. Bye.